not necessarily reflect or represent those of the owners, management, or advertisers of Pacific Telestations, Inc. This message has been brought to you by the stations of KUAM. The Buzz with Jess Lujan. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Lujan. Welcome to this edition of The Buzz. Interesting show tonight. I've got a person here from San Francisco who just flew in last night. Actually, he's... Uh, making it public, or has made it public, his accusation of the uh, Archbishop, our Archbishop of Guam, Anthony A S. Aperon. Um, and I'll introduce him now and let him say what he has said to me on radio. Uh, please welcome um, John Toves. How are you doing, Mr. Toves? How are you doing? Good, good. good. Thanks, Jess. A couple weeks ago, he gave me a call on my radio show with a um, pretty strong accusation. Repeat that, please. Um, my purpose is to confront the Archbishop and have him accept responsibility for the sexual molestation of my relative. Um, that's one main reason I'm here. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back to that because in our conversation um, this supposedly occur occurred 30 plus years ago, right? Around, around, around that yes. time. Around that time. Now, this, of course, um, the alleged uh, happening um, when the archbishop was still a priest, right? Not yet yes. an archbishop? when he was still a priest. A priest, okay. Was he already a priest out here or in another destination, another other place? Oh, uh, he was a priest out here. Out here. Yes. So the, this, this alleged... Um, he was the rector of the cathedral. The rector of the cathedral at the time. Yes. Okay. Um, so it was your cousin, supposedly, who um, um, was molested by the Archbishop? Correct. Okay. Around that time. Was he, uh, you, you said uh, that you guys were in the seminary, I think, in Thai, right? At Thai. Okay. Were you guys uh, um, going to school at, at FD at the time? Yes. Okay. So you're, FD, you're an FD alumni? Yes, I am. Okay. And a, a seminarian there? Yes. Uh, what's the seminary over there? Your cousin as well? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, because it's your cousin, I mean, it, it, it was, let me ask you, were you a victim? No. No. I was not. You were not a victim. Okay. It was your cousin. Do you have, is this, did you witness, witness these, these um, happenings, occurrences? I witnessed the period of time that I suspected it was going on mm -hmm. and you know when something goes off you get a sense mm -hmm. uh, at the time I did notice a lot of changes in my relatives behavior mm -hmm. I did know that uh, the Archbishop would or rather the father at father the at the time would um, come to the minor seminary quite often to to pick up my relative mm -hmm. and then at uh, some point later return him back. I was always curious about that because I wondered why he would always be summoned. Mm -hmm. uh, I know he was an altar boy at the cathedral and at the point, at that time, I chalked it up. Well, maybe mm -hmm. he's doing still some work for Father Aperon. Mm -hmm. But after all that's come to pass, I know that's not. Mm -hmm. Now, I, again, you, you said you sensed uh, you had seen some changes in your cousin. Quite you, a bit of changes. You, 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 you sensed it. Now, that doesn't mean that he told you, or did he tell you? about no, the occurrences. No, he didn't tell me. Okay, okay. Now, uh, prior to, again, all this, uh, have you communicated with your cousin regarding this situation? Now, you also said that this is documented uh, at uh, a seminary that he went to. After, Correct. Okay, in, in San Francisco, that is? In Los Altos, in Los California. Altos. Okay, okay. Uh, St. Joseph's College Seminary. Okay, so that is where he revealed Correct. That that he was uh, allegedly molested by by then Father Aperon. That's correct. Okay. He, uh, I'm certain the seminarian psychiatrist um, 
assisted him. And I know uh, Father Gerald Coleman, who was the rector of the time, mm -hmm. uh, was called. And it was directly to Father Coleman that uh, he revealed the reason for his breakdown. Mm -hmm. So there, so it may not be in the Archdiocese of, uh, of Hagatnya, but in another archdiocese in, in which uh, he attended the seminary, at right. least that archdiocese has the official report um, that uh, the breakdown was due to, again, uh, occurrences that happened years back. I don't know about the documentation. Uh, there has to be, otherwise, well, here I go again. Father Coleman would be remiss. Yes. Um, is Father Coleman still alive? Yes, he is. So, again, in a deposition, these things will, will come out, yeah? Yes, that's why I wholeheartedly invite the suit. Um, I think it should happen, and I think it should happen fast. And I'm prepared, and as soon as that happens, then closure can probably begin for my relative, and healing can probably begin for the church, which needs it very badly. Now, now let me ask you, why did it take around 30 plus years to come forward? Um, <coughs> has your cousin maybe gotten over it at this point? Um, and doesn't this now kind of maybe rehash for him? Uh, situations if you're not in communication with with your cousin does this again bring back those memories kind of like you know like a PTSD type situation where this will bring back memories and and probably have a breakdown because having to relive this again uh, I have to say and I hate to say that that's a strong possibility but not to diminish his trauma to any degree but it's more about the entire church that's suffering mm -hmm. and the archbishop needs mm -hmm. to be stopped. Now, a couple of years back, there was a law that was passed that extended out the statute of limitation in order to report and, yes. and it, it was done for a purpose basically back then. Why didn't you do it back then when you were within that stat or the extension of the statute of limitation? Why I wasn't aware of the statute. Okay, okay. Um, so you're out again, of uh, outside of the statute of limitations at, at, at this point. So basically the law, the law at this point can't do anything to him legally in, in, in that sense. Not okay. yet. Uh, I hope to revive or work with others to revive that window. Mm -hmm. So there will be another opportunity mm -hmm. to attempt that. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be working on now, that. Now, again, because you are not the victim yourself, um, eventually, even if that statute is again extended out, reopened, given another year or two, whatever it may be, um, the victim or victims out there again uh, are going to have to come forward. You're not the victim, okay? I so, understand. Yeah. So. And yes, Again. yes, that will be the case. Mm -hmm. And I'm also inviting any other victim to, to contact me mm -hmm. and speak with me, and it will all be in privacy. Mm -hmm. I will sign to that. Um, and the only people who will get word of the actuals will be the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have said, actually, you, you had mentioned to me when we spoke on radio that mm -hmm. uh, you had sent a letter to the Vatican with these allegations and all that and investigation. You also uh, written to the Archdiocese. Have, have, you, have you received a, uh, a reply from the Archdiocese? I've not heard a word from okay. the Chancery. Okay. I was um, driving around the area today and I was actually looking to, uh, for the friary because I wanted to visit. Mm -hmm some good old friends who are Capuchin mm -hmm. and uh, lo and behold there was the chancery. <laughs> I, I thought for a second uh, drop in mm -hmm. but 
I figured that wasn't the appropriate thing to do at the moment. So you had you had not uh, again because you you are definitely going to in this trip here. You just arrived last night. Between last night and coming to the show, you had not confronted the archbishop. Not as of, as yet. yet. Yeah. Not and, yet. And but uh, I plan to tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, ten o'clock at the chancery. Oh, ten o'clock tomorrow morning. I am so looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. I, I know you send out the thing to to the media, inviting the media as well to to come out and join yes. you in your attempt to confront the, the Archbishop. So in, in the confrontation, um, again, because you're, you are not the victim, do you think the Archbishop will, will give you even an, an, an audience? I mean, I don't think so. I don't uh, think yeah. so either. Yeah. So what do you expect to accomplish then with, with the anticipated uh, confrontation, knowing again that you're, you're not the victim? Because, and that's why I asked you whether you're a victim or not, because do you remember me? Do you remember me? Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, continual applied pressure. Mm -hmm. um, he needs to come forward and he needs to accept responsibility. Mm. And maybe it might not be just tomorrow. Uh, maybe it might be the following day or the following day. And I'm not going anywhere. Um, he's going to have to hide for quite a while. Actually, right now, I've got to go somewhere. I've got to pay some bills. We come back after we pay some bills. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more John Tobis.